I'll give you the floor. Uh, I saw your tweets and your uh, your Instagram on it, but I give you the floor on what happened at the end of Wisconsin yesterday and your your thoughts on it. Yeah, it was disappointing. You know, one to see coaches who are supposed to be the quote unquote adults in the room to act that way, and and I don't let anyone off the hook. I mean, I think there are differing levels of culpability for the incident, but no one is blameless in it, and and it went beyond the incident itself rich i think it was more not more but after after there had been a cooling off period and and the two coaches went in their press conference neither one of them expressed any sort of regret that the incident happened at all and uh and i didn't think that was the right way to handle it and uh so i was disappointed uh you know that there's going to be some some sanctions from it that the league and the schools are going to break the tape down like it's the zapruder film um but and and you don't want to overreact either. Uh, you know, you hear some people calling for Jawan Howard's firing. Other people are talking about suspensions. The one thing about about a suspension is it hurts the players more than anything, and uh, if it's going to be long term. So uh, hopefully, cooler heads will prevail afterwards. But I just don't think it's that difficult. Whether you liked whether the coach pressed or or whether the coach called a timeout, the other coach. Um, and and I, I get a little tired of people rationalizing behavior based upon, well, I'm a competitor. We're competitors. The competition was over, and if you didn't bring the fight in the competition, you know, the next thing was the handshake line. Behave yourself. And I thought those two coaches acted like babies, frankly. And and uh, and now they're gonna now they're gonna have to stand in the corner for a little while. So then, what what uh, what do you ascribe then to Greg Gard in Wisconsin of what he did uh, awry here, Jay? There are many, including people in this room, who think he has no culpability in this. So what do you have for me on that front? I don't believe that there's no culpability. Like there there's no reason to stop someone that won't shake your hand. Let them go by. Um, you know, it, it, these are these are can be tense situations. I am not saying that, that Greg Gard is anywhere near as culpable as Juwan Howard. That's why I was saying different levels of culpability. But nobody's blameless. And the one the one thing I would ask of both coaches, and I would have asked if I were a, a reporter in the press conference, is, uh, are you proud of your words and actions in that moment? And if the answer was anything other than no, that would be revelatory to me. Um, and look, when you, when, and it may be a small thing to some, but when you go into the press conference and you are explaining like Juwan Howard should have, should have been apologetic for his behavior. And I think so should great guard have been. And when you're, when you're trying to explain what happened and you say, maybe the other coach didn't know the rule. My, my first reaction is really, you think a guy that's been in the game as long as Juwan Howard didn't know the rule. Um, and I'm not a big fan of this unwritten rule stuff. Uh, you know, that, that you don't, you don't press, you don't, you put your, your, uh, subs in or whatever. There's nothing in the rule book about that. And if it's not in the rule book, just deal with it. And look at the end of games all the time, you see teams take shot clock violations so they don't shoot it at, at the end of a game. So the, the idea that they would have a turnover doesn't seem to me that big of a deal, but I don't care what happened in the game. The game was over. And there was no reason for, for anyone to behave that way. And, and whether great guard was, was uh, whatever you think is level of culpability, it didn't look like those two were, were exchanging pleasantries after. Or, or, or one was saying, hey, hey, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I hope you didn't misunderstand. Not, not the part. Like, they, they, they got nose to nose. And there's, no, there's just no reason for it. And, and I, I, don't, I don't excuse anyone. Uh, and, and again, there's different levels of culpability. Jawan Howard being at the highest rung of that ladder, but that doesn't mean everybody else that it's okay because things were said there and things were done uh, during and after that 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 I don't think were right. And uh, and I don't have any hesitation saying this, but but whatever whatever the sanction is, if it's anything less than a player would get, I think that's wrong. So what do you think should be the sanction, Jay? Do you you know, I don't know. That's a great question. I don't. It depends on what the the university's values are. And 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 look, these all these administrators and universities talk a great game, uh, but oftentimes their actions don't match with their rhetoric. Um, to me, it does. This doesn't rise to the level of termination uh, for for Joan Howard. Uh, but if it, there's a suspension, I don't think it needs to be a, a, a long one. I don't think it would have to be a long one for a player. And, you know, you, you, you deal with what happened. So those who say it could have been worse, somebody could have been hurt. Well, nobody was. So, so it could have been worse, but it wasn't. 
so let's deal with what it was. And, uh, uh, you know, maybe a reprimand for, for some and, and for, for Juwan Howard, maybe a short suspension. But you give them a long suspension, and what you're really doing is hurting the players. And the players who actually competed and had opponents, like the coaches were in a competition. They don't have opponents. There's nobody trying to, to stop the coach physically from calling a timeout or for drawing up a play. The players are the ones that were physically on the line there, and they behaved well until the coaches lost it. And, uh, and, and that, that, that's where the problem is. The, the, the match that was lit for that was lit by the coaches, not by the players. Hey, you watched all the way to the end. Thanks for that. Watch more right here.